All right, everybody. Welcome back to Spoopy Games Done Quick. Uh, Manner of the Insane Vampire Guy 2. And this is my speed run. Uh, no. Uh, I have no idea what I'm doing anymore. I'm going to crouch. I'm going to bite you. And I'm going to fill my blood bar up the rest of the way. And it'll be just fine. Oh, okay, I guess not. Oh, lordy. All right. Stop crouching. Skin swing. Try to hit as many of them at a time as you can. The guys are fucking brutal. They just don't stagger. Well, I guess... I guess there are reasons. There we go. I'm really lucky that I brought this uh, dime store katana and carried it with me everywhere. It seems to be a pretty effective weapon. I am literally about to die. So I'm just going to stand here for a minute before I proceed too far. I'm going to check out the room, though. Let's see. This door locked. Nope. Okay. So that's probably where we're going. Man, I missed this game. Um, Pre-fan pre patch. Uh, this is actually a realistic way of how the blood... Um, realistic. This is a real... Uh, an, an accurate depiction of how blood healing works um, on vampires in the role-playing game where you activate your blood healing which doesn't actually you don't even have to do it just happens automatically and then it sort of ratchets your health back up so like in combat it's not really worthwhile you can't heal fast enough to not die but you can after combat heal really quickly um but in the old game you used to just click blood heal and it would like bump your stats up hugely and i kind of miss it um <laughs> to be completely honest okay so i picked the one locked door um because it made it made healing and combat really effective, but oh, okay, great, we're here, good. I don't want to go that way. Um, let's try this door. This is probably to the same hall, and if not, to yeah, okay, cool. Narrowing the options here. All right, another fucking tape recorder. All right, we'll see. Fight. Come on, this is fight. Okay, no more feeding. Alright, fine. Nah, see, look, 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 look. They're still in there. And the reason for that is that on the other side of this fireplace, there are peeps. Okay, now wait a second. What's different? Lamps are there. Two chairs. Okay, this would be better if I put away my sword. After decades of solitary study into this affliction, I have learned that it is by no means mine alone. Indeed, the city is home to an entire society of similarly okay. afflicted individuals with whom I've only recently made contact. Okay. They are an understandably standoffish sort, by and large, but I have been able to confirm with them that the condition is indeed... Did you guys see that? Which apparently comes in a multitude of strains, each with a spectacular set of symptoms such as a disability and even a sort of lycanthropy. Through numerous official interactions with the governing body of this secret society, I have concluded that their fundamental understanding of the vampiric condition is woefully lacking, and my suspicion and pseudo-religious dogma that would make a Turk balk Indeed, they seemed impressed with my studies and the eloquence with which I was able to present them. Apparently, the typical sufferer of my particular strain of vampirism is far from the vanguard of the king's English. So impressed were they that they even offered me an office in their government, a rather high office by the sound of things, I believe I shall accept. If nothing else, it should provide a lofty vantage point from which to observe the breadth and epidemiology of the affliction so that I may move more expeditiously toward a cure. Cool. That's nice of you. Okay, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, for those of you that don't know, most Malkavians kind of lose their shit uh, over the time once they are embraced. It becomes a little bit difficult. There, that was the trapdoor I tried before. That's painting of, or a dumbwaiter, yeah, but it's not open, so no reason to fret. Um, okay, what do we got? Chaos like the mind, only by through scientific process. Order, however, is only as good as perception. 
time is the key that links the two bars and witnesses their ebb and flow. Oh no, oh no. Okay, time, all right. Listen to this man while I play this. I have accepted the role of Primogen for Clan Malkavian, the dreadfully winsome label applied to the particular strain of emperism I suffer. So well, named easy. for some supposed vampire father figure of old. Or poppycock grown from a backward culture that seems interminably drawn to children's tales in the fiction of Victorian romance, when it should concern itself with the science behind their suffering. No matter. For I have taken this office for no greater reason than to advance my research. I must make mention, however, that even among my would-be peers in this governing body of vampires, the level of Yikes. paranoia and superstition is frightening. Their intelligence is not the question, no, indeed. As they courted me for this appointment, I had to suspect that their overtures were hand-tailored to what must be my obvious infatuation with reason, for the devil would do well to have such honey-tongued tempers. Even so, I could not help but notice the dressing of language these vampire leaders chose for their siren song. Whether it is born of habit, from addressing their unwashed, ill-educated subjects, or from their own deep-seated beliefs, their linguistic flourishes belie a faith in superstition over the providence of empirical reason that must be an all-pervasive theme in this society of darkest night. Damn it all, now I'm doing it too. Okay, so this guy really likes to hear himself talk, if we hadn't already noticed that. And I turned off his magical pentagram laser field while we were listening. I also found another occult power-up. That's my third. Um, increases defense by one point. Decreases chance to frenzy. That's pretty cool. Um, that's cool. I like it. Hey, it's a sword in the stone kind of thing. Oh, nope, it's a door. Alright. So, we seem to be getting closer and closer to something that is meaningful to someone. Um, we might make it out of this manor today. This is more involved than the Elizabeth Dane by a long shot. Alright, can we... Where was... No, that's not right. Um, let's see. This right here. I'm uh, not really listening to his recordings that he's telling me, but I am also sort of just trying to progress while, while he talks because he's kind of a giant turd who talks too much. I, however, might actually be... I don't know where the hell I'm supposed to be going now. That's still locked, okay. What about here? Where in the hell... Okay, this is probably not right, because... Nope, yeah, definitely not. Um... Damn these twisty little turny passages that all look exactly alike. I saw the door open. I saw it. Yeah, we don't need to go through that stupid crap again. Um, now we've got the, the creepy Thurman player in the background, so that's super good. Um, it's gotta be somewhere over here then, um, if nothing else. Let's see. So we went through here. Can we, let me like activate the switch again and see? No, we can't. But it expected us to activate the switch and then go this way. So that dictates that probably it's over here somewhere, maybe? I mean, I just dismissed this immediately. Oh, wait, I bet you, is it upstairs, maybe? I don't know. Here we go. Is this, this is something, right? Yeah, this is not something. This is like the way that I came from before. Okay. Fuck this house. Fuck all of the people in it. Alright, let's find a different way. Gotta find a way, a better way, when they're there. Now I'm just quoting Nirvana lyrics, and um, that was something I promised when I decided I would make this channel that I would never do. I would never sit and quote Nirvana lyrics at you. Um, I promised to you that I would come as I was as I am, as I want myself to be. God damn it, I'm doing it again. All right, so it's gotta be in this half of the manor. Um, let's just go straight back and see what's over there. Uh, oh, good, we found it. My bad, everybody, my bad. 
All right, let's see what we can do, and maybe we'll run into Crazy McCrazy Pants. Man, a bunch more nonsense. Okay, medical tools, a freezer. Oh, I can lockpick it. Sweet. Lockpicking skill below a difficulty of five. Morphine. At least he gives his patients a little morphine, I guess. Or maybe he didn't, because it was on the floor and not very well used. All right, I'm going to activate this recorder. You can listen to him ramble. As I, I like expand this out. my dealings with the vampire government, I have encountered a disturbing new symptom of this affliction. Frequently, in conversation, I will hear voices emanating from other vampires. Voices that are not their own, but which seem to have insight into their lives beyond what I could gather from simple conversation. These voices seem to echo from deep within my fellow vampires, and I cannot be certain if this symptom belongs to my strain of illness or theirs. For the voices are various and inconsistent. I dare not mention this symptom to my vampiric peers, for they have proven themselves true predators to whom I could be loath to reveal any sign of weakness. Indeed, these voices have counseled me against confessing their presence, and until I can confirm their source, the information of the voices have given me ranges from curious to... The latter case is especially true of one powerful vampire whose name I shall not commit to recording in the interests of self-preservation. That's interesting. So he's hearing some serious voices, and he's not quite sure where they're coming from. Um, it's, an in it's an interesting conundrum because uh, both telepathy and, like, schizophrenia are both things that the Melkavians suffer from. So he could actually have both. Um, who really knows? Oh my god. What in the world? I'm gonna take all of this. Oh, hey. What's up? Did I accidentally just drop my shotgun? Come, come back. Do I have two shotguns? What is going on here? Yeah, there's just another shotgun there. Okay. That's fine. Um, what's up? Okay, we'll deal with that later, I guess. Oh. Oh. It opens that secret door. Where the fuck? Oh, we're looking in on the test subjects. Of which there... Oh, there's one. Not very many of his test subjects are still in their pens. That is not the button to open doors, Ben. Every single time. You do this every single time. Oh, what's up, dude? Oh, damn it. Shank. Alright. Um. Hey, it's that one-armed guy they were talking about, isn't it? No, he has he has arms. Looks like he fell through the floor. Can I not have my weapon out? Yeah, you live in a hole. Alright, um... That's definitely something. So what is all this? This is just, like, underneath the, the manor, I guess. bad. Shouldn't have opened it. Shouldn't have opened it. Shouldn't have opened it. Should not have opened it. Oh, and I also just used blood buff instead of healing. Alright, well, let's make the best of that and run away from you. Hey, what's up? You too, huh? Okay, let's turn it back to healing before I go into frenzy or some damn thing. There's a dead guy... So not dead down. Can I get around behind you and feed? Oh, okay. We're just gonna stop trying because I don't really wanna 
I would really like some more blood before I have to go fight the king of all crazies. But that's cool, I guess. Okay. And this is upside down door room. Okay. Cool. So that stuff aside, we're all good there. Okay, I need blood. Um, I guess we can go over here and check this out and see what's up. Oh, I'm gonna get attacked. I'm gonna get attacked. Yep, definitely. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. I'm not emotionally prepared for all of this. Oh god, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do special moves. Just stop. Oh. Good grief. Ouch. Ouch. Okay, okay, we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. We might die here. We might die here. Okay. Oh, oh shit. <sighs> Alright. 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 I deserve that. I deserve that. Let's see where my last save was. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's it's in second is second area here. Um Yeah. Alright, so we're exactly where we were. We have to go around the down layer loop, but there wasn't much that really needed to be done. So what we're gonna do is end this episode here and we're gonna take another crack at that fighting in the next one.